Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you um, another live gameplay. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, once again, we're going to be rolling with the Chicago Bears offense uh, and defense as my playbooks uh, using Jaguars. I just really like having a really good defense in the regs formation. So uh, once again, I'm going to be rolling with this uh, Sting Pinch defense as my primary blitz. Uh, and I jumped into cover three. Uh, his offensive line got really good blocks on me and actually got a really good push so in a second or third situation go with the sting blitz uh, a zone setup where I'm basically taking my guys to the outside uh, it actually gets a really good seal block right there and actually picks up some pretty good yards right there so his running game is just uh, just clipping along so third play right here I just go ahead and jump into the sting blitz I didn't set it up correctly I should be spreading out uh, my line defenders but you can see the edge pressure just comes clean off the edge and actually goes ahead and, and tackles this guy so uh, sec uh, second and uh, 17 situation now I go ahead and zone everybody up put the deep blue out there uh, put the uh, flats out there and he has a little to toss play in a second and 17 situation so that was a little bit surprising usually most people will go uh, past in that type of situation but he actually ran uh, but I'm able to go ahead and stop him for a three yard gain or so uh, third and 14 go ahead and set up the sting blitz again got outside squats uh, was one of my, my fast audibles and right there the squats able to go and clean him up and actually go ahead and stop him so he actually punts the ball off to me so I get a nice stop in the first quarter once again running with the Sting Blitz defense. So right here I cut it up with Fournette um, and actually get uh, a nice little first down. Nice run right after the uh, right with the pitch play out of the single back wide trips. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the run off the left hand side. Uh, got the pitch over here and uh, my blocker actually doesn't hit it but I'm able to go ahead and do a little juke behind my blocker to go ahead and pick up a nice, a nice six yard gainer. And then I come into uh, the uh, trap play right here, and look at this guy. His 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 defender actually just kind of moves my line back, lineman over off to the right, and actually goes and bottles up around that. I should have picked up some more yards right here. And then actually his defenders actually come in. Now he was using a man blitz uh, to actually go ahead and stop my run. It was very effective, and I started really having some problems with it, as you'll see in the game. So right here, um, I, I go ahead and just hit the little drag route because he was probably falling back in that man blitz right there, and I picked up a first down. So uh, five uh, five minutes can jump right in the second quarter right here. I go into the curl flat. He's got a man coverage, but I get a little bit happy feet, and I actually got rid of the ball a little bit too quick on that, um, and I, I didn't really like the like that adjustment. So now he presses his guys. He actually quickly switches into a, a cover three type coverage with a blitz off the edge. Uh, my line picks it up, uh, and I just throw up the ball haphazardly. That was just a bad read. I didn't really. He, he was he, what he was doing is he was switching his defense right before I. Started snap the ball. So maybe I, I had some kind of a tendency or a cadence. I think this might be the same situation where he actually uh, he flips his defense. But uh, I jump in the wheel right here. Uh, actually, I was actually making trying to make an adjustment into a different play. I didn't make it a good read. But right here, my, def my wide receiver does not hold the ball. So um, because... Because he punt, because he basically punted the ball off to me, and I wasn't in scoring territory. I just went ahead and punted and, and, and pe peeled him back down on the 20. So right here, goes with the run play. Um, I actually... Uh, penetrate the backfield. He uh, get him off uh, off his angle, and he actually takes a three yard loss. Back to the sting pinch again uh, because he's been struggling with it, and I don't think it really he's blocking anybody. He actually takes his his uh, wide receiver and actually moves him over on the left. And right here, uh, the running back does come in the block, but I still got edge pressure. He actually goes ahead and takes it off to to the flat. I'm able to go ahead and, and tackle him up because I've got that soft squat out there. They, those soft squats work really well uh, for this defense. So once again, he goes ahead and takes his guy off to the left, still running with sting blitz, uh, 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 pinch blitz, covering up that that guard. Uh, and actually, right here, actually he blocks it up. He's got seven people blocking, but uh, he has to get rid of the ball quick. So it puts me in the driver's seat. So I got a really good uh, punt return right here. I go into bench swap, uh, look to the flat with a running back, make a little whoop right there. Another guy miss, um, and I'm take it down to about the 15, 14-yard uh, uh, line. So uh, right here, I jump into uh, just a, a a draw play, I believe, just because he's been running. He's been he's been mixing up his defense a lot, but right here, I actually miss my hole. I kind of if I went off to the left hand side, I probably would have picked been able to pick up some more yards. So that was just basically a, uh, a no a no yardage play. I go into the KC under, which is a flanker under. 
and hit my wide receiver underneath and get it down to uh, a third and three type of situation. So I try to do a nice little inside run, but he's running a man blitz, and the guys just come shooting in the gap and actually go ahead and bottle it up. So what do you do in this type of situation? Just take your three points. Uh, any kind of a tight defensive uh, situation, you want to take your three points. So now I jump into the mid blitz. I figured I haven't shown this to him before. I blitz my middle linebacker, so I'm going to play the middle of the field and um, just send the pressure, and his line picks up the pressure perfectly because he blocks his tight end. That's one thing about the mid blitz, the, the tight end um, it really does cover up that blitz pretty well, so he, he had the perfect play set up uh, with, his, with his tight end uh, set up, but go right back to Sting Blitz. He has to get rid of the, the ball quick because of that, and I actually pick it off with my, my corner, which is uh, Bonat, I believe, or Boyer, and look, he takes it house, and I'm up 10 nothing going into the second half, getting the ball back, so I am the complete driver's seat uh, uh, in this game. So going to the second half, uh, feeling pretty good about myself. My defense is causing some problems. Even he's having a hard time with that sting blitz. So uh, once again, I go ahead and jump into curl flats, and I streak up my, my tight end, and I'm just going to essentially go ahead and look uh, for the curl flats. Uh, I had to settle down to the flat rod, and, but I still make a nice little move with my, my, my tight end. I'm able to go ahead and get it down. I get a nice uh, first down right there and pick up some pretty good yards. So uh, four minutes left in the third quarter. I try to do a, uh, a, uh, a trap play right here. And the blocking is actually pretty good, but uh, his defenders are actually were very stout uh, against the run. They were they were holding their blocks. So even though I picked up four yards, you know, you feel like you can get more, but he really did do that. So I do uh, a drive, and I actually I went for the high route for the extra routes. But his min inside line, middle linebacker was actually making plays for him all day. So go back into drive trail right here out of the uh, the, the, the slot. Uh, uh, t uh, tight and um, went ahead and looked for the crossing route right here. The defender actually comes down and makes a play on it and knocks the ball out of my hands. So his defense is playing a lot better than the previous guy. So right here in a, th a fourth and sixth situation, uh, I go with the wheel play right here and I'm, I'm looking for the underneath guys and I'm also looking for the running back. So the running back actually gets kind of carried with coverage. So I drop it down to the underneath, and look at this spy just comes out of the uh, out of the area and actually goes and knocks that, that ball away. So uh, lesson learned. I've got to go ahead and make sure I, I make a little bit different uh, looks against people that run a lot of bad coverage, because uh, he was he was pretty effective. I was having a hard time with it. It was it was messing up my reads, and I think it was because I've been concentrating a lot of my reads um, on people running coverages. So I really wasn't prepared for that. So. Uh, second and three type of situation, he's he's showing all, all different types of adjustments, and then he actually goes ahead and jumps into a run. So he's showing me pass by by faking adjustments, and then but he jumps into a run play. So this guy was actually a, a good player. Uh, he was a really good player because you, you he didn't he didn't run like the same plays over and over again. So right here, Sting Pinch, uh, Pinch is able to go ahead and, and bottle him up. So uh, second and seven right here. Go back into a cover two shell. Just uh, quickly adjust into that just to kind of give him a different look. And I get a nice little block shed. They actually go ahead and tackle him uh, to keep him to a third and eight. So right here I go into uh, the man coverage of the Sting Blitz. Just to try to change things up. I didn't want him to pick up any kind of tendencies whatsoever. And I go ahead and hover over the area. I got to go ahead and cover that running back. and actually hits the tight end. Uh, on a little slant route on the back inside or drag route and actually gets a good first down. So that was a great read, perfect read against the defense, um, and it, it, it was it, it was really good read. So right here, uh, I go ahead and just do all its own. Still staying in the sting uh, uh, a pinch, uh, but I'm just uh, putting all my guys in yellows, uh, some corner flats, and I've got uh, a spy up. And he actually goes ahead and sits, it hits a fullback dive right right there. And that should have been, you know, earlier Maddens, you might be able to take that in for a touchdown, but because he got a, a bad animation uh, with with his guy, uh, that he didn't get it in. So, once again, just putting a bunch of yellows up there. And he actually throws into my yellow spy right there, and I'm able to go to get, the, get the ball back. So he just makes a bad read. Um, and luckily for me, my guy actually goes and tackles it. So, four minutes and 55 seconds left. I'm thinking to myself, all I need to do, basically, is just try to work this clock down as much as possible, so I won't really give him any kind of life. Going to Casey Under, uh, and uh, right here I go ahead and, and hit the drag up. As you can see, that guy is just the spy was just sitting there to make plays over the middle of the field. Now I jump on the stick. This is not a play that I really broke down in my scheme, but it's a common play. Uh, just because he's running so much man coverage, I figured that that uh, slant route will be wide open. So I go ahead and hit the slant route with McCreef and I'm able to go ahead and pick up a nice first down. So three minutes and 12, uh, 12 seconds left. Finally get the seal blocking I'm looking for, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> the guy doesn't hold. That could have went for more yards, but uh, it, it doesn't. So I jump into a power O, and I want you to watch the animation with the, the pulling guard. The pulling guard doesn't get out of the hole quickly enough, and actually the blocks are, are not set up. So that's only really pick up one yard out of that play. It should have been a little bit more. So uh, back into four verticals, uh, a play I haven't ran the entire game. Uh, just do a deep comeback route. I also go ahead and take my uh, slot receiver, which is Safarian Jenkins, and put him on a drag. And I'm looking to the running back on the back end side just to go ahead and keep him thinking. And I possession catch it. I probably should have tried to rack it uh, because I get a third and four type of situation. So you can take a look at the clock. I'm just milking this clock against this guy. A minute and 14 seconds left. I try to hit the post on the back end side. He gets a nice little block shed and actually pump the ball away. So uh, he's got the ball. He's got a minute and five seconds left. Uh, uh, I go ahead and just run a cover three shell. I spy up my one, one guy. And right here, he hangs up the ball. And one of my defensive backs makes a monster play for me. Another interception right here. And that's pretty much game. So uh, once again, guys, thank you uh, for your support uh, and uh, your likes. Uh, this is gameplay of me running that Chicago playbook. I appreciate it. And until next time.